Hey guys, welcome back to the final edition of the POI Editor segments. Uh, this is Virtual DJ Tips. Today we are going to look at the saved loops. Now, saved loops uh, we touched on in the overview section of uh, the POI Editor. But today we're going to go into a little more detail on how to use them and such. So, we're going to touch a little bit on custom buttons. But uh, first and foremost, we're going to take a track, uh, one of our YouTube friendly tracks. And we are going to go into the POI editor like always. And you see the grid. So if we take a spot, we move it to about there. Notice I have snap on. That's probably best because you want to be on beat for your loop. If you're a little more advanced user and you don't need to be on beat or you have a specific point that you want that's not on beat, then you could take snap off. But I always recommend to have snap on. So we're going to say new and we're going to call this a saved loop or just saved loop one, for example. And we're going to make it a saved loop and uh, eight beats should be good. So if we click on saved loop, we press play. It's probably not a great loop. So maybe we should shorten it a bit. So that doesn't sound bad. So, and we'll have that set as Q1. Now, if we zoom out of our track a bit and we take our playhead, move our playhead here to another spot, and we make this another new one, we can make as many saved loops as we want. So we have now saved loop two. The type is going to be a saved loop and we're just going to make it Q2 and we'll make this one for like 8 beats so that'll zoom into our track a bit when we double click on it press play and see how it sounds Well, we're definitely not on the downbeat with this one when we start our loop. But it does sound pretty seamless, so we'll just leave it alone. We'll close our POI editor. Now we have our two loops are saved as hot cues. So we just press Q1. And our loop plays. And if we press Q2, hot Q2, our second loop will continue to play. But what if happens in the instance where you don't want to use your hot cues as loops? So what we do is we go back into our POI editor and we just change to marker only for visual purposes. Oh, Got to be on our loop first, loop one, marker only and loop two, marker only. You'll notice that the two hot cues have unlit, so there's nothing loaded there. I've already set up an action, so we've got loop load one in our custom buttons, so we can use those as an alternative. Setting it up on the second one, we'll just put loop underscore load two. That'll make our second saved loop and we'll name it just loop two or loop two. You can name them whatever you want because you'll be the one that's using the custom buttons so they don't need to be named the same. So if I click on loop one, 
you can see that it's loaded already. Waveform is there. But what happens if we're playing the track? Our loop is there. So what if we go to loop two? It acts exactly the same way as the hot cues, but you do not have to use the hot cues. So you can use the custom buttons for that. You can also map a keyboard shortcut for that, for example, um, say your number one key and your number two key to load loops, or you can map them to controller buttons the same way. Just to get out of the loop, you're gonna go to your loop out, and bang, you're out of the loop. And if you ever wanna go back into the loop while the track's playing, just click on those buttons. You can completely customize these to whatever you want. Uh, you can adjust the number of loops. The biggest benefit here is sometimes DJs will like a certain section that they loop continuously and there's never been a option to save those loops. I've always had to use some sort of marker like a hot cue. Now with the POI editor, you can mark them, you can make them a hot cue and use your hot cues, or you can just make them invisible and map them to something else like a keyboard shortcut, one of these custom buttons in the skin. You can also map this custom button or the dial at the bottom to adjust the size of your loops if you wanted to. That's something we'll get into another video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Leave your comments and questions down below. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.